Hey everyone, Pablo here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I mix toms. All right, so here's my drum mix from the last series. And I have three toms here. So this is the first tom, which is a rack tom. And let's just listen to it in context of the whole drum mix. All right, so that is a rack. Since this drum was perspective, this is a left rack. And I already added a gate from the previous video. Um, what I did here is I didn't clean up the toms. Instead, I used the gate. I could have cleaned the toms. Yeah, I'll show you what I, how I would have done it. I would have, since this is the first hit of the song, there's nothing before it. What I do is I'll hit tab to transient. And then instead of hitting B and then clicking here and then deleting, what I do is I hit tab and then I hit A. And that gets rid of everything before since there were no other time hits. And then over here, I'll just do a quick cut like this. I'll do a fade. So I'm going to solo this and let's listen. So if I were to get rid of the gate, it would sound like this. But I don't do that because I'm going to just keep the gate here. And if you listen to the gate, it pretty much does the same thing. All right. So let's bring in our, let's bring in our plugin and I will bring in trigger and I will use Billy Decker's small town samples. And there are three times here. So I'm going to use the first time. But what I do to this is I don't mix it at a hundred percent. If I do, it'll sound like this. Okay. Let's do it again. I don't do that. What I do is I want the real snare in there. So I mix it at about 50%. So 50 real and 50 sample. Okay. So let's listen to, let's do it before and after. Okay. This is before. And this is after. Okay. So still getting the real Tom there, but I like to shorten them as well. So let's do the same thing I did before in the, with the kick and snare and let's listen. Okay, one more time. Okay, and I don't EQ it because it's pretty much EQ, but I do want to take out some of that low end. So I'm just going to use an EQ and then I take out about 200 and I'm going to do a really healthy cut, maybe 60 B and then just showing the Q a little bit. And let's listen to this. Okay, let's do it before and after. Okay. Now, if I bypass this, right? Not bypass. Let's bypass this. And let's look at the uh, the analyzer. You're going to notice that the buildup is right there. So if I were to move this like there, let's see how that sounds. Okay. So I'm hitting that, that really low end buildup there. Okay. So let's do that. Let's leave it there. So let's do it before. And after. Okay, sounding much better. Uh, I wanna, I'm just going to solo it because I just wanna hear the level. I don't want it to be louder. Let's do that again. Okay, levels are pretty much the same. Let's listen to it a little bit before in context of, of everything. Let's see how it sounds. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. Let's go back over here. Okay, and let's bypass and see how it sounds without it. All right. Let's go to the next one, which is right over here. Okay. All right. So let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy, um, just copy both, but I'm just going to bypass this one. I'll fix it a little bit. Let's go over here and let's bring in small time to jump samples, Billy Decker, small time samples and time two. Okay. Let's just drop it there. Now that we have time two, but you're going to notice that the, the mix curve is stays the same. Okay, the mix balance stays the same. So everything stays the same. And let's take it and, and let's leave it without it first. Okay, let's see what this does to it. Let's listen to it in solo. All 
All right. Let's see where this is landing. Okay. Let's go to 500. go back to where we were all right let's leave it there I'm not liking it too much to be honest and this is part of engineering okay? part of engineering is f finding out the, if, if there's a problem finding a solution for it and it it's there's too much of I think a resonance Let, let's solo it No, the rest of this is fine. That's a, that's a little both of them. Maybe we need to go back a little bit. One more time. All right, let's move on. Okay, now we have the floor time. We're going to do the same thing. Copy, copy, and this time we're going to bring in Tom 3. Okay, everything is the same, and let's listen. Okay, let's see what this is landing. It's like it's landing like right there, right? I think I'm going to go back to 200. Let's give it to that. Let's do the same thing with this. Let's go to 200. And let's go to 200. Let's focus on that build up there. Let's go over here. And let's listen to these um, hits right here. Let's do a before and after. All right, so you're hearing that, you're hearing like a resonance there. Let's see. So now because I'm going to duplicate the gate, So basically what I did there is I don't want that resonance. So it's it's cutting at about 760. Uh, listen, listen to it before and after. Before you can hear a lot of resonance. That's all of it. Okay, hear that resonance now with this gate. Much better. But the others don't need that. So, And that's it. So let's listen to a section where... Right here. Okay, let's listen to this. This section over here. Where there's these two tom hits. And I think we are done. Let's listen. And we are done here. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And you can like and subscribe. And you can follow... Uh, for my next video, which would be the drum bus. Take care.